In this video, I show you Detroit's Outer Drive, or as I like to call it, the Outer Hoods. Where I start is on Outer Drive East, near Detroit's border with Gross Point Park. Really quick, as if you enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already, as doing all of those things helps these videos destroy the evil monster that is the YouTube algorithm. Also make sure to hit that notification bell and select yes, so that you can be notified every time that I upload a new video. If you enjoy this video, then you might enjoy checking out some of the featured playlists on this channel. Videos with amazing insights on other places like what you'll see here can be found in my Detroit playlist, my Detroit suburbs playlist, or in my American Hoods playlist. Last but not least, if you can't get enough of me on here, you can always go follow me on my other social media accounts, and those links are below. Alright, well Outer Drive is one of the most bizarre major city thoroughfares that you'll ever see. As you can see from the map, Outer Drive sort of forms a circular shape and a radius that varies from about 7 to 10 miles away from downtown. Now you might be thinking, why on earth did they build this thoroughfare that takes this weird crooked path? The idea for Outer Drive dates back to 1918 when then-Detroit Mayor Oscar B. Marks wanted a study done of what he called a highway. Huh, Outer Drive isn't a highway. Well, back in the early 1900s it was. That was a time before freeways. The reason for the crooked path that Outer Drive takes is because it was built through an existing road network, so they had to merge Outer Drive with existing roads whenever it was possible. Throughout this video, you'll see that Outer Drive starts and ends a couple of times as it isn't one long continuous stretch, and the reason for that is back in 1920, the affluent neighborhood of Palmer Woods didn't want Outer Drive to go through their neighborhood, as they feared that it would hurt property values. Palmer Woods, by the way, is a pretty fantastic neighborhood still to this day, and you can expect a video to come out on it in the future. To the left is the Ronald Brown Academy. It looks like originally it was either a traditional high school or middle school. Well anyway, the study was done and city leaders were enthusiastic to build this highway that circled around Detroit. In the report it stated that Outer Drive will be a 150 foot wide boulevard that encircled the city 8 miles from its center to the east and north, and then connecting with Oakman Highway on the west. This wasn't your typical highway though, as it was never meant for people to get from point A to point B quickly. A 1929 article in Michigan Woman Magazine predicted that... Hold on, one second here. Time to put on your rose-colored glasses. A 1929 article in Michigan Woman Magazine predicted that Outer Drive would be a great pleasure boulevard that would lie like a necklace around Detroit. That's right, it was always meant to be a picturesque drive. But times have changed, and these days the houses off of Outer Drive don't have near the property value that they once did. As we continue along, you'll be able to tell that most of these houses used to symbolize the American dream. Most of them are large, two-story homes that have garages to keep your cars. Living off of Outer Drive back in the day was like a status boost. Not so much today. Status boosters and snobs in the Detroit area now live off of lakes in the suburbs, plus other areas like the Gross Points, the Bloomfields, and Birmingham. However, some of the houses off of Outer Drive have been kept up with properly and probably still look really nice inside and out. The fact that they're in the Detroit city limits lowers their value though, as Detroit has a high crime rate, low performing schools, and a high amount of urban blight. You might not always see the urban blights off of Outer Drive itself, but venture away from Outer Drive in either direction, and you'll immediately be able to see abandoned homes and empty lots. Try this on for size, as this is a house for sale off of Outer Drive at the time of me uploading this video. 
The price is $64,000, and it looks pretty nice on the outside. And the inside needs some work, but it's work that can be done. But a house like this in a good portion of the suburbs would be listed for either twice or three times the amount. Sure, it's a good deal, but it's a good deal for a reason, people. Meanwhile, it looks like the community association needs to put some letters back on this sign. I'd like to solve the puzzle, please. East Outer Drive Community Association. What's my prize? Nothing? Nope. Well, that's no fun. Well, as I've been starting to say, Outer Drive mostly goes through the Detroit hoods as a lot of the areas that we'll see experience high violence and property crime rates, including a high rate of gang violence and drug usage. Later in the video, we'll be going through the Brightmore neighborhood, which is one of the emptiest neighborhoods in Detroit today. After that, Outer Drive goes through Detroit's Rouge River Park on the far west side before entering the downriver suburbs. And that's about all there is to say about Outer Drive. Now it's just time to see what the thoroughfare looks like today.
Now we're at the point where Outer Drive West starts at Livernois. To the left is Renaissance High School, home of the Phoenix. Phoenixes? Phoenix? 
Among the most notable alumni includes actress Simone Missick and Super Bowl winning Los Angeles Rams offensive lineman Alaric Jackson.
And as we enter the Brightmoor neighborhood, the homes alongside Outer Drive seemingly disappear altogether. Brightmoor is one of Detroit's emptiest neighborhoods today.
And now we're in Rouge River Park on Detroit's far west side. Now we're in Dearborn Heights, and for the rest of this video we'll be going through a handful of Detroit's downriver suburbs. We'll be in Dearborn for a good portion of it. However today, things are much nicer on this side of the Rouge River.
And to finish things off, we head through the troubled suburb of Ecorse. Well, that's about it for this video, and if you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already, as doing all of those things helps these videos destroy the evil monster that is the YouTube algorithm. Also, make sure to hit that notification bell and select yes, so that you can be notified every time that I upload a new video. If you enjoyed this video, then you might enjoy checking out some of the featured playlists on this channel. Videos with amazing insights on other places like what you saw here can be found in my Detroit playlist, my Michigan playlist, or in my Detroit suburbs playlist. Last but not least, if you can't get enough of me on here, you can always go follow me on my other social media accounts, and those links are below. We'll see you next time. Peace!